Hello everyone and welcome to another Max Render Hot Tip. My name is James Cohen and I'm a Max Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre of Design Technology. In today's episode I'm going to be looking at using tiny modelling details to bring the best out of your models. And this is the scene that I've set up and as you can see it's very basic, two cubes and two cylinders. But if you look closely at the edges of the cube and the cylinder on the right, you can see that they're just about picking up a little bit more light than the cube and cylinder on the left. And if I go to my perspective view and select the cube on the right and then right click centre selection and then angle my view so you can get a better look, you should see why this cube is reflecting this tiny bit of light. The edges of this cube, which measures 200 by 200 by 200 millimetres, are slightly beveled. In fact, the bevel is only 0.5 millimetres. But compared to the cube on the left, which has no bevel, it's reflecting a tiny bit of light, which is adding just that little bit more realism to the scene. And it's exactly the same story with this cylinder here. I've beveled the edges by 0.5 millimetres on the cylinder on the right, but on the left, there's no bevel. Now this technique of adding tiny bevels to your models isn't strictly exclusive to Maxwell Render. It will help out your models in any render engine. But because of Maxwell's emphasis on quality, it's often a shame to see renders let down by models which are obviously CAD. Because there is no way in the real world that you would get a cube or a cylinder so precise. There will always be a slight bevel, even if it's only a few microns. And that really can make the difference. It will make those edges pop. And that is your Maxwell Render hot tip for today. Any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, or email me at maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com, or tweet me at jcolman underscore design. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.